Meanwhile, the lightning bug and Uncle Kenny got another call. They had to do an interview and do it quick in Cleveland, Ohio with Lonesome Cowboy Dave. Hey Dave, I'm the lightning bug and I'm here sitting to talking to Lonesome Cowboy Dave of WCSB Radio. Lonesome, how you I'm fine, but the, my, as you could tell, my, uh, as you you had mentioned earlier, I'm not at liberty to uh, reveal my, you know, except for that I am Carol Hawkins. Well, I understand, Dave, that uh, you recently gave state's evidence against uh, mob leader John Gotti. Is that the reason why we're uh, wearing these masks here? Is that uh, that's why? Our problem here is government agents. As you know, I've been told not to uh, allow my band to be known because CSB is bug. Mr. Man, yeah. by a number of government agencies, inclu including the uh, the uh, Fostrum uh, Corporation, which is an obscure group based in Waukegan, Illinois, which uh, investigates insurance accidents and causes people to have house fires. <laughs> Well, uh, thank, thank you, Dave. Uh, that was a pretty good song. But uh, could you say something for me? Say, I don't find there are very many people as bizarre as I want them to be. I don't find there are very many people just as bizarre as I want them to be. I find that most of the people I are down at the Goodwill and the different... Uh, Oh, the DA vets, the DA vets uh, thrift shop, I, I bring them home, and I give them a few good meals and some maggoty rice and spank them a few times, and then we're talking, we're all ready to go down the hall and have a few drinks and poke for the night away. There you go. If you've got a mind to. Yeah. Half, hour, half hour of uh, weirdness, or uh, an hour of weirdness and comedy. Hey, I like the way this feels. I like a tactile kind of thing to it there, and I also like the fact that uh, you, you, uh, but you're not dating anyone right now. Uh, no, but you no, have to no. uh, maybe just, just sign her out in a, I don't know, Cafe Espresso until the uh, blues ring us down. No, I don't think so, Dave. Um, why don't you go and buy yourself a big rubber doll or something? Well, uh, okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you've been uh, listening and watching and looking at WCSB's uh, Lonesome Cowboy Day from uh, Cleveland State. When I return after this operation, I've had Lepernicus disease for a long time. At least, uh, you know, swearing, I'll be swearing my damn head off. One thing I'm talking about, something, you know, one moment talking about something else, the next thing I'm swearing my full head off, for extrapolating on I mean, something having to do with maybe a gas, you know, or something like helium, you know, I mean, well, I would be talking about the. Uh, of different physical properties of nature at, at the same time that this terrible eye burn has inflicted so much damage on my life, which is why I expect that suit. And, and, and how many women do you love? I have uh, many loves, but none of them are square in the teeth, if you catch my drift. Most of them are old, somewhere over 67 years old, and uh, they don't do much following or sausage uh, healing. At least... Uh, I, well, I, I can't continue this line of question because uh, you're, you're insulting the fabric of my reality. At Lonesome Cowboy Dave. Uh, I, this is the lightning bug for a CTV, and Dave saying goodbye to the audience. I, I don't want to have anything more to do with saying goodbye or nothing. Okay. Thank you, and, and uh, we go back to our show now. Back to the show. May you rot in hell for all you have done to me over these last few years. I know your names, and I've hired a detective agency... To, uh, to, to get, I know where your house is on, and I know why you're doing this to me now. And you're not going to get away with it no more. Lonesome, you want it on toilet? Oh, uh, well, I got to go, but I guess. <laughs>